So many of you might remember that next June we are going to Ireland on a Garden Time tour. Now, the producer of the show got clever during a webinar and said if we sell out, we'll all wear kilts, except we didn't know where to get kilts. So he is, has two friends that he's friends with that have the 67 Music Celtic Music Promotion Company, and really it's globally, it's all around the world. They were connected to Stumptown Kilts. Now, because of that, we wanted to do a little interview with Stumptown Kilts and figure out, you know, some history and, and how these things are made. So tell me how you started this company and a little history about the kilts. Uh, well, we were a, a group of kilt wearers, really, and kilt lovers that uh, got together. There were things about kilts uh, that we could buy that we didn't like, so we decided to design our own. And what is the history of them? Because, you know, in a lot of social media, I get comments, you know, you're going to Ireland, but you're wearing kilts, and that's right, Scottish. Right. <laughs> so it originated as, as a tunic called the Great Wrap, um, which uh, the Scottish supposedly got the idea from the Norse as they were coming in and invading. Um, so it was a big wrap. They would lay it on the ground, pleat it, and then it would wrap around. It was their, it was oh. their, their sleeping bag, their tent, their wear. Yeah. Um, and then that went up to the first tailored kilt for the Scottish Army, which was a box pleat, which is what we modeled ours afterwards. So, and a box pleat is mirrored on each side. Oh, so normally, like, I've worn them before, but they were all, like, this yes, way. They weren't... Yeah, and that's okay. called a knife pleat. All so, right. So there weren't many, many box pleats available, and so we decided to go with the box pleat, and then we just uh, modernized it. And is the color, because I see a lot of solid colors, that's also a modernization of right, the Right, right. So we don't do tartans. Yeah. Uh, in Scotland, uh, the tartan is a family thing. Um, in Ireland, it's a county thing. So, All yeah. right. And we, we modernized it for fashion, so we stay away from the tartans. And you and your business partner here really did come up with this whole creative process, so I'm going to take a couple minutes and actually ask him how that process yeah, works, all right? Yeah, Let's great. run over there. Nice. So now I'm here with Todd, and Todd, we're gonna talk about the, the really great construction of these kilts. So why don't you jump right in and tell me what it is that really makes them different and, and such a good, good value. Well, the first and the most obvious is the fact that it uh, is adjustable in the waist sizes. Oh, wow. So it's a lot of fabric to start, and they wrap around like so. Snap, snap on this side, snap, snap on that side. So it can grow or shrink as you grow and shrink. And it just is always comfortable no matter like what you're wearing along with it. And that, that makes sense to me because a lot of times, I, in fact, even on your, I think it was on your website, I read a comment about how a woman said, you know, I love these because if I eat and my belly bulges a little, I just snap it and make it wider. That's a great addition, I would think. Yes. So then do you have to wear a belt with them, or is that an option you can or cannot choose? Um, well, we often say when we're bending that it's a good idea because once your buddies figure out they can just tear this right <laughs> off of you, it's good to have it like secured <laughs> on. You don't want anybody embarrassed. No, no. <laughs> and then the, the, the little purse thing that you see on a lot of kilts, where is that at on this one? Oh, well, we've taken the idea of the sporn and modernized it, so we put a pocket in here that's sewn separately. Oh, clever. Doesn't look bulky at all, and uh, we call it the secret pocket for, for reasons, yeah. you know. <laughs> <laughs> that, and, and that's just, that's all put in. You're not taking that on and off. It goes there all the it time. It just is always there. Well, so I, well, not that. that yeah, is, that, that's that just occasional. Not always there. <laughs> so I think what we're going to do now is actually give you a little fashion show. We're going to go through some kilts, and each of us are going to pick out some of the ones that we're going to try on. So we're going to do that now. Well, now that we have finished our fashion show, I do have to ask one question. As a gardener, how is gardening in a kilt? Oh, they're fantastic. One, they're airy. So if you get a little heat buildup, uh -huh. you just kind of swirl it out. <laughs> <laughs> and then the bandolier, you can hook up different tools to them. So and so they great. really are utilitarian yeah. as yeah, well as fun to wear. You get them dirty, just throw them in the washer and dryer. And where is it that people can get these? Oh, well, you can come see us on Thursdays and Saturdays from noon to 6. We're open at 2020 Southeast Bush Street. Or you can give us a call for a personal kilt fitting at 503-839-7604. 
um, or uh, just hook us up on our website, stumptownkilts.com. Or you can like us on Facebook. We like to be liked. There you go. And I have to tell you, they're really very comfortable. So if you're thinking, now, which one did all of you choose from Garden Time? Well, there's a lot of colors, and we're going to put the picture that we chose on the Facebook page of Stumptown Kilt. So you can see yourself which one we chose. We also wanted to give a big thank you to 67 Music. You know, you can go there and see all of their wonderful different music and, and just get really into Celtic music through them. To find them, you can go to gardentime.tv. We'll click you over to their website. So uh, we're supposed to say something all together here now. Slaughter! Slaughter. Slaughter. Yeah. <laughs>